So this is Travis Elliott with National Control Devices. And today I'm going to be showing you how to wirelessly configure DigiMesh modules. So the idea behind this is that you would have a USB modem connected to your computer and you would have Digi, uh, uh, DigiMesh modules installed in uh, remote devices that you want to change settings on. So those remote devices might be MQTT gateways or other modems or sensors or something of that nature. Um, and you don't really you know, want to or are able to physically access those wireless modules to connect them to your computer. So this is an alternative way of uh, changing settings in those modules over a wireless connection. So to get started, the first thing that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a USB modem plugged into your computer. Next, you're gonna need to make sure that the device that you want to configure is powered up and is within wireless range of your computer. Um, you'll need to know the address of that uh, wireless device you want to configure. Um, all of our products have stickers on the outside that show the DigiMesh uh, serial number of the device. Um, so you can make note of that. And lastly, you're going to need the XCTU software from Digi. So to get that software, uh, you can just do a Google search for Digi XCTU. And you'll see um, one of the first results comes up is the XCTU uh, software. I'll bring you to this uh, Digi page. Uh, click on support to download XCTU. And then down here at the bottom, you're going to have downloads for it. Um, I'm on Mac, so I use that version. If you're on Windows, you can use this version. And then there's uh, versions for Linux as well. So go ahead and download and install that XCTU software. And after you have it downloaded and installed on your computer, we're going to go ahead and make sure that USB modem is connected to your computer and then open up the XCTU software. Okay. And once the XCTU software is open, um, we're just going to click on this little uh, module plus button here and we're going to use this to connect the XCTU software to our USB modem. So my USB modem is mounted right here. If you're on a Windows computer, it's probably going to be a, a COM port. Um, but go ahead and identify that USB modem and select it. Uh, most of our modems have a baud rate of 115.200, so you'll want to make sure that this baud rate is set to 115.200 and then click finish. And what's gonna happen is the XCTU software communicates with the DigiMesh module installed in your USB modem to get all the information about it. And then once successful, it will be listed over here on the left. Now the next thing that we wanna do is we want to discover the wireless devices in that area that the USB modem can see. So to do that, all we need to do is we need to click on this little button here uh, discover radio nodes in the same network. Um, so we're going to click on that and then any devices in the area that are on the same network ID as this device uh, are going to pop up in a list. Now the wireless device I'm wanting to configure uh, has a serial number ending in 606A, so that's what I'm looking for. So I see that that um, that device did show up here, so I'm just gonna click stop, and I'm gonna make sure that device is checked. This is the device um, that I'm looking to configure, so I'll just make sure it's checked, and then I'll click uh, add selected devices. And now we're gonna see it actually pops up here underneath our USB modem, so it basically indicates that this is a remote node um, that we can look at. So we'll click on it, and what's gonna happen is the USB modem is wirelessly reading all the settings out of that remote wireless module. And then it's going to update the, uh, the Digi software here with all that information. So from here, um, you can make changes as desired. Uh, and this is just a pop-up from the XCTU software wanted me to update, but I don't need that. Um, but you can make changes here uh, as needed. Uh, you know, you can change the network ID right here uh, to something different if you want to. 
um, and then you know say we wanted to change this to 7f fe for instance we would just change that and then we'd click the right button here now it's important to note that since we just did that our usb modem module here has its network id set as 7f ff which we'll see here after it loads the settings out of it that's its network id okay we just changed the network id of this module to 7f fe and since we just changed that network ID, that means that our USB modem and this module are no longer going to communicate. So if we were to uh, just close out the remote device there and then click on this button to discover wireless devices again, you're going to see that that wireless device no longer shows up. Um, the only way that you're going to be able to see that device again is to change the network ID of your USB modem to make sure that it matches the network ID of that remote device. So we would click stop here, cancel, and we would change this to 7FFE on our USB modem and click right. And now if we go to discover wireless devices, we'll see that that module that we reconfigured earlier will actually pop up. And there it is. So it popped up. So we'll just say add selected. Now if we click on that device and load the settings out of it, we'll see that its network ID is in fact 7F FE. Right there. So I'm not really going to get into um, anything else as far as settings go here. Um, I've already got a, uh, a good um, tutorial on on uh, on um, using XCT as a diagnostic tool. Um, so if you go to YouTube and you search for ncd.io, you'll find our page. You open up ncd.io's page, and you'll see there's a video here called XCTU Diagnostics Overview with NCD. IoT long range devices. And that goes a lot more in depth with, you, with what you can do with XCTU. So if you're wanting some more information about diagnosing wireless networks through XCTU, I uh, highly recommend that video. So that's gonna do it for this one. Um, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.